Why is my throat so weird today? <sighs> hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. And uh, today I am drawing with my beloved pastels again, and I'm drawing another realism piece. Today's piece is of my older sister's dog. Um, his name is Icon, and he's a border collie. And this portrait I made for her for her, well, it was supposed to be for her birthday, but uh, her birthday was in October last year. Um, that, that, yeah, so it was, it, it was late. <laughs> um, let's just say October, November, December were crazy months last year. It was ridiculous. Like it was, I don't even know. I, the time just flew by. It was ridiculous. Um, so I, I started drawing on Icon, and then I had to stop and, and draw the pastel wolf drawing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and, and then I returned to Icon. So I did these two realism pieces back to back, and I gotta admit, my, my brain took a bit of a damage. <laughs> it, it took a bit of damage, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, my brain feels a bit fried. <laughs> um, so yeah, but um, anyway, it was kind of fun working on these two pieces, like, pretty much right next to each other. Um, I was using pretty much the same drawing materials, just two very different kinds of paper, however. So um, the paper that I'm using here is the Cinelier pastel card. And uh, I've only tried this paper twice before. I tried to draw an eye, which did not turn out very nice. And then I tried to draw a wolf, which did not turn out very nice. Well, I'm not done with it. I can go back to that drawing, and I could probably fix it if I wanted to. But I'm th I'm thinking of taking a bit of a break from my pastels for a little while, cause, whew. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was uh, you know, third times the charm. So I tried it again, and this drawing took me a really, really, really long time to make because this paper is so unfamiliar to me. So there was a lot of trial and error going on. I played around with it a lot. Um, so, I mean, I'm impatient. So in the end, I did get a bit frustrated that it was taking so long, but I also did enjoy the process. I did have a lot of fun experimenting and trying out different things. Um, I'm using both my uh, chalk pastels uh, my Rembrandt chalk pastels. I'm also using my Faber Castell Pit Pastel pencils. Wow, say that five times fast, I dare you. <laughs> um, and uh, and I also used my Faber Castell Polychromos um, to do like tiny details, and that looks really good when you have a nice layer of uh, of the pastels down, and then put the color pencils on top. It just looks so gorgeous. Um, I do have problems with my polychromos though because they keep breaking. Um, I, I've heard a lot of artists really praise these color pencils for their quality, but I have to disagree. My polychromos break constantly. The wood splinters and just kind of it. It just it doesn't matter what kind of uh, sharpener I use. It doesn't matter. It, it they just do. So maybe I was just uh, maybe I just got a shitty. <laughs> A, a, a shitty uh, batch of them, I don't know, but I have a lot of trouble, which is so sad because the colors themselves are really, really gorgeous, and they really do add an amazing touch to to pieces like this. Um, and I do have uh, I do have a little patch, where, like I do have a little piece of video where I zoom in uh, as I'm working on details on the ear, and there you can definitely see I'm working with the polychromos, and and it really shows just. The kind of detail you can get by putting them on top of the pastels and um, it really does give an amazing look so so yeah it was uh <laughs> i feel like i've reached or achieved a new skill here well it's not a new skill per se but i've reached a new level in my skill set that's what it feels like so i'm so despite the frustration of making these two pieces back to back i'm very very happy um and and like i said this paper is very you know, new to me, it's very rough paper. It's, it's sanded paper. So the texture of it is just amazing. Um, but it can also be quite difficult. You need a nice thick layer if you want to, you know, a smoother look. Um, <laughs> and, um, the other paper, the paper that I drew the wolf on, I don't even, that paper doesn't even have a name and, oh yeah, <laughs> here you can see I'm zooming in and, I wanted to get a nice little close up and um 
<clears throat> and show you guys some real-time footage because I had to speed this up a lot. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the speed that I actually work in. Okay, I'm 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 going a little extra slow right here, <laughs> but I am generally a pretty slow artist, unfortunately. Um, but I'm hoping I'm gonna get a bit faster as I gain more experience. Um, but anyway, the the paper that I drew the pastel wolf on, or autumn wolf, or whatever I'm I don't know what I call that. Just yeah, the wolf. Um, that paper actually it doesn't have a name, and it has no description on it or anything. Uh, it doesn't say if it's acid free or anything like that. I, I pretty much, I very much doubt that it is, which is so sad because it's it's really awesome paper to work on. It's very thin paper and it's not nearly as textured, so it doesn't take that many layers. But um, since I'm so used to working on on paper like that, I'm used to working on printer paper, so I'm used to not having a lot of layers to work with. So it's no problem for me. I actually really enjoy that paper because it's really fast to work on as well. Um, this paper takes a lot of time because it is so textured and you do need that many layers for it to look um, to look good. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it was really interesting working on the two pieces um, so close to each other. It really, it, it really, really, um, <laughs> it really showed me very clearly the, um, the strength and weaknesses of both, uh, of both kinds of paper. And um, I really want to get more of the other, like I, I enjoyed working on this paper and I look forward to doing it again, but I also want to get more of the other paper because that paper is very enjoyable and it's very fast and, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and here I am just blabbing on about paper, but paper is important. That's something I finally realized. Uh, paper is one of the most important things. If I could decide if I wanted good quality paper or good quality um, drawing articles, I would definitely, I would, I would choose paper because paper is so important. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't know if that, I don't know if that came out right. And I don't know, I have some, uh, I have some stuff stuck in my, I don't know, I have something stuck in my throat. So my voice gets a little weird every once in a while. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> um, <clears throat> God, I'm sorry. Anyway, so, um, yeah, like I said, I, I definitely I have learned a lot working on this, and I feel like um, I, I I think I touched down a little bit on this in my previous videos. Uh, but I 2018 was a bit of a weird year for my artwork. It was I was kind of I don't know confused. I don't know, um, but I feel like I'm getting out of that. I feel more focused, and I kind of know what I want to do, and um, I feel excited and motivated to get stuff done. <laughs> However, it is a bit of a challenge to sit down and actually do any artwork because three dogs, guys, three dogs, and having a puppy is just, God, it's not, <laughs> I love them, but um, it definitely puts a damper on the artwork because, yeah, it's also hard to do voiceovers. I had to bribe the dogs with some fresh bones <laughs> to get them to shut up. <laughs> and leave me alone for a little while. Um, so yeah, and especially since this is such a long voiceover, I really, I needed something that would keep them occupied for a long time. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to teach Wade to be quiet on command soon because he really needs to learn that. <laughs> um, anyway, that is, that's pretty much it for this, um, for this drawing. And uh, I hope you guys like it. That's, that's for sure. The, the, ones of you that actually watch this because you know there are that many of you leaving for two months is not a good idea I suppose if you want a successful channel I am sorry again for just leaving like that I hope you can forgive me um but yeah I, I hope you guys like this drawing and uh what would you guys choose if you could choose between good quality paper or some good color pencils or pastels or whatever you're using to draw on that paper or watercolors or whatever, what would you choose? Is the paper more important or or whatever art supply you're going to use on the paper? Um, I'm actually curious to know what you guys' opinion is on that. For me, it's definitely the paper. Um, having both be good quality, of course, is awesome. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> and important to mention, you don't need good quality art supplies to make awesome artwork. I've made do just fine with a regular school pencil on printer paper and made some really awesome drawings like that. So so yeah, don't be discouraged if, if you don't have the good stuff. 
um, work your way up to it for sure. And wow, I just, I wouldn't really, wow, that was not meant to, anyway, I'm just gonna stop here. This is the end of the video, just touching up into final detail and there it is finally. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll back be bleh. hopefully i'll be back with another video soon but until then uh bye <laughs>